Hi children, how are you? Welcome to Mallaredi Memorial School Digital Classes. In the previous videos, we have discussed the text Puru the Brave. We have completed the text and let us discuss the glossary part in this chapter. Here is the glossary. Go down. Go down is a phrasal verb. It means to be recorded. Go down is a phrasal verb. It means uh, to be recorded. And your highness. It's a noun. It means a title of respect used when talking to or about a, ma a member of the royal family. So your highness is a title of respect. We use this word to give respect to a, a royal members, a royal family. Warfare. It means the act of fighting a war. The act of fighting a war. Your Majesty. It means the way of addressing royal people. The way of addressing royal people. Vassal. It's a noun. It means an, a man promising to fight for a king in return for the right to hold land. Vassal. A man. Vassal means a man who promised to fight for a king in return he will hold the land. Coming to the second bit. Take the correct answers. Here are four sentences followed by four options. You should choose which is the correct answers from this four A, B, C, D. I will tell you once so that you can understand the remaining one. Alexander asked his soldiers to remove the chains of Puru because <coughs> so Alexander asked the soldiers to remove the chains of Puru. Why? Why did he ask the soldiers to remove the chains? Here are the four sentences. You should find which is the correct sentence. A. He was sympathetic to Puru. B. He did not like a brave man like Puru in chains. C. Puru requested Alexander to remove the remove his chains and D. Alexander did not dare see Puru in chains. <coughs> yes, the correct answer is B. He did not like a brave man like Puru in chains. So this is a suitable answer and this is the correct answer. The second one is Puru did not accept Alexander's proposal to be a vassal because Puru did not accept uh, Alexander's proposal. Why? Why did he not accept Alexander's proposals to be a vassal? Here are the answers. He was very proud. He was uh, very brave and patriotic. He was not very wise. He did not have respect for Alexander. Which is the suitable word and sentence? Yes, B is the correct and appropriate answer for this statement. He was very brave and patriotic. So in this manner, you do remaining two sentences. Uh, two uh, sentences. Coming to the vocabulary part, pick out antonyms from the text for the words given below. Children, then what is mean by antonyms? Antonyms means opposite words. Here he has given five opposite words in the box. You should find out 
sorry he, he has given he has given five antonyms and you should find out uh, uh, these words opposite words from the text you should read the text carefully and you should understand uh, the meanings of the words then only you can write the antonyms of these particular words antonyms means opposite words first of all you have to know its meaning okay as well as the suitable meaning from the text also the first word is victory the first word is victory what is the antonym for this word from the text yeah victory means a win winning okay so then uh, what is the opposite meaning that we have come across to the text yes defeat the opposite word from the text for this word victory is defeat puru was defeated by alexander yes <coughs> coming to the second word timid so what is mean by timid timid means not brave timid means not brave so automatically we have understood that opposite word to the brave is opposite word to the timid is brave okay yeah you complete the remaining uh, you write uh, the words for the remaining words <clears throat> filling the blanks in the following paragraph with the words given in the box filling the blanks in the following paragraph with the words given in the box our respect skillful proposal lawful capture worthy amazed conquered frightened remain so these are the 10 words you should fill these words in the appropriate blank okay you should uh, uh, read this paragraph carefully and fill these sentences in a right blank i will read once i know that you are very dash and dash of this position you hold but i am really dash to know that you feel as though we have dash the world these days nobody is being dash by the other i would like to make a dash so that you will dash humble and i dash i hope my words dash your imagine and you dash me as your teacher so this is the uh, text children the paragraph you should read as many times as possible to understand which which word is suitable and which word fills in the right blank okay children so you do this if you have any problem let me know in the class